Hi, my name is Austin Nation. I'm 46 years old, originally from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, been living in Southern California. I love Southern California. I've been living here since 1971. Uh, I'm a registered nurse. Uh, been living with AIDS for 22 years. I tested positive in 1986. Uh, HIV has been one heck of a roller coaster. Um, six years into it, I tested, I, I was positive for AIDS. Um, you know, my life has never been the same, you know. Um, I, I haven't been able to work. My life now is full of doctor's appointments, medical exams, uh, not feeling well most of the time. Um, it's just a struggle at 46. You know, this wasn't the life I was planning for at 46. Um, you know, when I tested at 22, actually, I wasn't planning on seeing 30. Um, clearly wasn't planning on seeing 40, so there was no, no plan to get older uh, and live this long with this disease. Um, most of my friends died a lot sooner, um, seeing a lot of deaths from this disease in my lifetime. And, uh, you know, part of me, you know, wonders, am I left here to suffer with this thing? Or, you know, or is this a blessing somehow for me? You know, um, you know am I the lucky one? You know, because I do uh, get to experience so many things today that I would have missed out on had I, had I died sooner. You know, I was told to get my affairs in order when I tested. And, uh, you know, uh, I went with that mindset for a while. So it's been hard to get back to really learning how to live with this disease. It's been a challenge. Uh, but I'm so glad to be here. So glad to be here. You know, um, relationships look, look very different for me today. You know, um, you know I, I'm a people person. You know, I love people. I, I love being around people. I get energy from people. Um, you know, uh, when, I, when I told friends that I had AIDS, uh, half of them I, I never heard from again, uh, which was uh, very hurtful. Another fourth, uh, you know, give me that sort of false sense of security, like I'm going to be okay, or you know, you know that maybe I don't have it, or don't worry about it, you know, and that's hard to do when you're living with it. Um, and the other fourth, you know, have, have subsequently died, or they're people that I hardly ever see now, um, for a number of various reasons. You know, intimate relationships uh, look hard. You know, how do you meet someone and say hi? You know, I'm Austin. I have AIDS. You know, um, you know, I wonder am I living or dying with this thing sometimes? You know. Um, I like to think that I'm living with this, living with, positively with this disease. But how do you bring people into relationships when you have this thing? You know, I um, probably some of the hardest things I go to, I go through on a daily basis, other than just uh, not feeling well, um, is the financial crunch that this disease has put me in. Not working, uh, trying to make a living on disability income, which is uh, very minimal. Um, I'm having problems right now with uh, uh, my private disability plan and having to go through litigation with them. Uh, you know, for me, it's like, you know, I'm afraid. You know, I'm afraid. I'm afraid, you know, uh, you know I don't want to, you know, I don't want to die poor and, and sick. I don't want to, you know, um, this wasn't the way I thought my life would be at 46. But then now I have to fear for my life. Like, you know, this ticking time bomb in my body, when, when is it going to go off and, you know, potentially, you know, take me out of here? Now, my big hope is that I live to see a cure. Um, I'm praying that's one of the reasons that, I, that, that I'm still around. Uh, you know, I get to go out to, to talk to young people in middle schools, high schools, colleges, and universities in the area. And I think part of why I'm still here is that that's, that's my job. I'm supposed to go out and um, share with people you know, my own story and, you know, if one person hears a message and, and uh, you know, changes their behavior, goes to get tested, I just feel really blessed in that process, you know. Uh, I get to give something back to the community. Um, you know, I've, I've learned so much about myself in these last 22 years. Uh, and one is I'm clearly a lot stronger than I ever imagined I'd be. I get to live the day. I get, I get the value of each day that I'm given you know, how important it is. I think people miss out on that. They take, they take each, each day for granted, you know. If I can tell people anything, it's, it's uh, I would tell them that, um, you know, I'm no different than anyone else. You know, I have AIDS, yes, uh, but I'm a person. I'm a human being. I have a personality. I have a heart. I have a soul. Uh, you know, I have a great sense of humor. Um, you know, sometimes I, I sometimes I don't feel so great, um, but um, I'm lovable, and um, I would like to have that back in return. And you know, there's no need in being afraid of people like me.